Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to edit some sick gameplay using Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2014. Uh, this is going to be rendered in HD 1080p. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to import your media. Uh, I'm just going to import some uh, Minecraft gameplay here. And then what you want to do is just click and drag over to create a new sequence. Right, and then you want to find the spot where you did your intro and you maybe screwed up a little bit and just cut that out. So I got a black part there when I was going full screen. I press C to bring out the razor tool. And then just hover over wherever you put the playhead and it'll automatically snap. You can see those those white arrows that appear that'll tell you that it's snapping to the playhead. And then just click and it'll split it. And either press V or uh or just click the little arrow or the cursor up there and then click right here and press delete there you go click and drag that to the beginning now what you want to do is you want to go to um, whatever your favorite uh, I don't know what music downloading whatever if you already have music that's cool um, I like to use YouTube because it's just a lot easier and then just um, Find some good gaming music, um, something like this, I don't know, uh, I th I've heard this song before, I think it's pretty good, um, I don't know, let's just listen to it, see what kind of beat it has. Make sure it's in 1080p. Alright, yeah, that'll definitely work because it has a really good bass output. Um, and, I, and there's a nice bass drop too. So if you find a video on YouTube, uh, what you want to do is you just want to open up a new tab, go to uh, just search YouTube. Uh, to mp3 and then go to your video press uh, control C to copy and control V to paste convert the video and download it okay so once that's downloaded you just want to go back to your video in Premiere Pro and then what you want to do uh, if you don't have a voice or if you just have a certain section that you want to put the, the um, if you want to just put the music in a certain section all you got to do is just split it and delete it but just right click on your video and click unlink and then it'll unlink your audio from your video so you can move them separately so if I wanted to move that there um, but I'm just gonna delete my audio and then I'm just gonna import uh, the music uh, so I want to go to here go down here we go open it up and click and drag it in and there you go so once that goes like that uh, then what you want to do is you want to go to sequence actually first you want to go drag your playhead all the way to the beginning press I to add an in marker go all the way to the end bring your playhead hold shift to snap the playhead to the end and then press O to add an out marker okay and then go to sequence Render in to out, and it'll start rendering your video. I'm not going to do it, but um, that'll render your video so you can export it. So then once you're done with that, um, you want to just, you have to make sure it's rendered. Otherwise, it's not going to have full quality when you export it. Um, so you'll know it's completely rendered when this yellow bar right here is all green, and um, when your video starts playing. Uh, so then what you want to do is you want to go to file, export, oops, sorry, you want to go to file, export, media, or control M, okay, and then what you want to do is click H264, that's the best, uh, preset, um, do not do match source and high bitrate, scroll down until you find, I think it's HD 1080p at 29.97 frames, Yep, here, right here. Uh, then what you want to do is go down to the video tab, 
scroll down until you find the frame rate. Make sure you set this to whatever frame rate you recorded at. Uh, so if you if you recorded at 30 frames per second and you want to export at 60 frames, it's not going to make a difference at all. So uh, make sure it's either 30 or 60 depending on what you uh, recorded at. Or if you did 30, 29.97 is the same basically. Um, so I, I recorded in 60 frames, so I'm going to do that. Um, I think the rest of this is fine. If you want, you can do uh, bitrate settings. You can do two pass, but I don't like to because that wastes time. Um, I gotta reset that. I accidentally screwed with it. Um, anyway, uh, go to audio. Make sure it's AAC, AAC, and then your sample rate should be whatever your computer is set to. So uh, you can go down to your um, you can go down to your audio down here in the bottom right corner. And right click and then go to uh, playback devices and go to recording. Uh, right click whatever recording device you have and then right, uh, yeah, right click and then go to properties, go to advanced, and you should see right here for, uh, 4, 000, or 44,100 hertz. And then just set that here. So it's either 32, 44, or 48. Um, audio quality, high, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Uh, you can set your bit rate to 192. That's uh, pretty much the standard nowadays. Uh, anyway, use max or re maximum render quality at the bottom, um, and then you can change your screen or your uh, file name here. So um, I don't know, sick nasty. Um, I don't know, Minecraft gameplay. XXX, YOLO, XXX, Illuminati. Um, you guys can name it whatever you want, whatever, that's just a standard title, whatever. Um, anyway, that's, uh, yeah. So, then you just click export, and that should render it out. So, I'm not gonna do that, but, yeah, that's what you do. And, yeah, oh, and also, if you record it at a different, um, like, say, you record at a different resolution than you're exporting, like, say you, you recorded at, uh, here, 1360 by 768, uh, just go to source scaling and scale to fit so it doesn't distort anything. Um, and then just, yeah, click export and you should be good to go. So, yeah, thanks, guys. Uh, if you like the video, like it.